I know, I know it's been almost two months since I've been gone um, off the channel. Um, I have been pretty active within the community posts, keeping you guys updated as much as possible. Um, the last piece of content that I actually uploaded on the channel was the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is a masterpiece. Um, it's a beautiful film, essentially. Um, and in the community posts that I've been dropping lately, it's just keeping you guys updated and announcing my return on the channel, which I did drop a roadmap um, on for content that's going to be dropping in August. Some of it's already been changed up because of update, as in the past, those videos have not done well. So, essentially, what has been going on is... Um, the fact that there is a lot of lack of news going on within the Lego community for the longest time until literally just two weeks ago. So much news was being dropped and I was finally getting out of the whole YouTube space and not really wanting to upload content. And then out of nowhere, a bunch of news came out. And honestly, I do kind of miss this part of being a content creator. And... So I figured why not go ahead and start bringing some content back up before I start university stuff taken care of along that. So a lot of life stuff happening right now, so which is really exciting. And not only that, literally about three weeks ago now, we ended up getting a new show on Max, the new streaming platform that is joined by WB and Discovery titled Max. And that is My Adventures of Superman my current thoughts on it so with that being said superman has had a lot of representation over the past 75 years that superman has been around throughout comics and leading into live action adaptations to animated shows and films superman has had a lot of people don the capes within live action and animated form the last live action debut of Superman that we got to see on the big screen was really in his first outing with Henry Cavill as Superman. Henry Cavill will go to don the cape as Superman in BBS and Justice League and even Zack Snyder's Justice League and his Superman would make cameos in Peacemaker, Shazam, and The Flash, but not as Henry Cavill. He also made a cameo appearance announcing his return in 2022's Black Adam film, only for it to be shut down a week later. We've also had a recent appearance with the Superman and Lois CW show, which as of right now is currently the best adaptation of the character in modern modernization, and a lot of people happen to like it. But the last time that Superman has had his very own animated show was indeed a fact 23 years ago, in the very first outing in in Superman in the animated series in the early 90s. Superman had a animated show that focused on the character. And while the show doesn't really live up to the modern an animation that we have nowadays, for 2D animation, it did quite well. And you didn't happen to enjoy the characters a lot. Now fast forward to 23 years later, we have the new show, titled My Adventures of Superman. Going back all the way to 2021 in the early stages of that year, there were rumors of a new Superman show that was going to be released on HBO Max. But we didn't know anything about it. It was all based off of rumors until May 19th of 2021, where HBO Max and Cartoon Network would announce a My Adventures with Superman and was going to essentially debut a much younger Superman, a much younger Clark Kent, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen, and their adventures from young adults to mature adults. And it was going to be a breath of fresh air, a new take, until we got the first bit of concept art here within the same day, which discouraged a lot of fans. People compared it to the She-Ra and Voltron animated shows on Netflix, which... I am not the biggest fan of the art style. It does those that particular art style does take a lot of inspiration from anime and even the kid-like anime that we have seen in Cartoon Network's recent animated shows. But otherwise, besides the typical complaint of characters being race swapped and feminine characters having their style completely changed, within Jimmy Olsen going from a ginger 
to a black character once again. Fans were not really happy with this decision, but it, this isn't the first time it has happened as the CW Supergirl show ended up debuting Jimmy Olsen as a black character and not a ginger. Fans are still kind of upset about it to this day. And with Lois Lane, a lot of people weren't happy with her design as the fact that she came across as more of a feminist design within her, compared to her past animated designs within the DCAU film and even Superman Man of Tomorrow, the animated film, and even in the very first Superman animated series. Fans were not happy about it, but we were still optimistic about the show. So, what are my thoughts on the show now that we've kind of gone over a roadmap of this show? Um, essentially, it is alright as of so far. The show hasn't ended. It currently has, I believe, two or four more episodes of the show and a season two has already been announced but when it comes to the show um, the biggest thing the biggest complaint that i have is the animation and some of the character designs now there are some things that the show does get right such as superman being more of a optimistic character which is something that is very comic book accurate even though yes i love man of steel man of steel is my superman movie henry cavill is my Superman, I think what Zack Snyder had planned, was very great for the character. He definitely did need a second film before Batman vs. Superman came out. But all in all, I do like this new take on the character. It's a little bit more fresh than um, some adaptations. Now, when it comes to the one of the plot holes that this show ends up fixing is jor and Clark Kent being able to not understand what they say. Over the years, we've seen Clark Kent and Jor-El being able to communicate with no problem whatsoever, but in this show, it does address that, which honestly, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it does kind of fix a small plot hole. Superman and Jimmy Olsen, Perry White are all great in the show. Lois Lane is great in the show as of right now, but um, when it comes to some of the problems I have with the show, the animation, you can tell that the budget wasn't there for this show. The show wanted to go all out in this high adventure or anime-like show, but the budget wasn't there. As we know, WB has had a massive like loss amount of money. They owe like $100 billion, and that's how Discovery was able to buy them out. And so the show's budget definitely has depleted, but there are in some cases where you do see that the anime shine, well, the animation shines the best. And when it comes to the character designs, I'm not the biggest fan, especially with the villains. I understand you're trying to do a grounded take, but how can you do a grounded take of a Superman character with literally godlike powers from another world but yet, some of these characters aren't mutants. Now, Livewire in this show um, was the very first villain that Superman fights, which is a nice callback to the very first animated um, Superman show. Deathstroke is in this film, oh no, in this show for some reason we don't know, and this isn't Deathstroke. I know they were trying to go for a younger take on the character, but even still, this is not Deathstroke, but his suit does look really cool. The Intergang is in this show as well as a trio of typical villains, and Banshee is a part of it, which honestly, I do like her character design just a little bit more, but when it comes to some of these characters that are supposed to be mutants, or whatever, they're or metahumans, whatever they're called, it would be nice to go back to that trope instead of making them powered by technology, but I do understand it is a little bit different. Now, when it comes to the other characters, the only main problem that I have is the design of Lois Lane. I'm not the biggest... I, I like Lois Lane in the show, but she really does annoy me. She comes across as a typical college graduate who becomes an intern and has a lot of feminist ideals and I'm just saying that because of the way she goes about things she is not a good person at all she lies and her haircut like when you compare it to other adaptations of Lois Lane there's no real attraction to her yeah she looks cute but we're supposed to see how 
Park is attracted to her, not just because of the fact that she is cute. Cute. Lois Lane in the animated series of Superman, the very first one, is more attractive <laughs> than this Lois Lane. And every other adaptation since in the animated style, she looks better. Even in the comics and the live action adaptations, she looks better. But I mean, it is a characteristic style. I mean, if you're going to make Lois Lane look Asian, I mean, go all the way with it. Don't just kind of show it, go all the way in. But in all honesty, Superman, My Adventures of Superman is not a bad show. It is something that if you're looking for something new for DC content, I would recommend giving it a watch. Um, but yeah, so far it's a good show and I would recommend it.